Hello students, welcome back to Anne's class. Rational numbers, the multiple choice type, chapter 2 and this is from the revised edition. The multiple choice type is on page number 41. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. So we have the first question here and we have four options. We're going to choose the correct one. The rational number equivalent to minus 2 by 3 and with numerator minus 10, okay, is one of these. So that means we're going to write this rational number and the numerator has to be minus 10. Now, how do we get a numerator minus 10? So now the rational number is minus 2 by 3 and the numerator, as you can see, is 2, minus 2. How do we make it minus 10? If we multiply 2 into 5, we get 10, isn't it? So let's multiply that and see. So if we multiply 2 into 5, we get minus 10. But here, when we multiply the numerator by 5, we should multiply the denominator also by 5. So here we get 3 5s are 15. So here, minus 10 by 15 is the rational number that is equivalent to minus 2 by 3 with numerator minus 10. So let's see where we can find minus 10 by 15 in the options. Minus 10 by 15 is option 3. So this is our answer. The largest rational number out of these. Which is the largest rational number out of these? So now first thing we need to write these down. Now this is minus 5 by 6. This is minus 19 by 24. But here as you can see the denominator is negative. Now to compare we have 2 transfer the uh, minus sign to the numerator. So put it in the standard form here. So here let's write this down. So this is minus 5 by 6. Then we have minus 19 by 24 and we have minus 37 by 12. Now all the denominators are positive. Now we have to find the LCM of the denominators. The LCM will be uh, from, uh, we have to take the denominator 6, 24 and 12. Let's divide this by 2. 2 3s are 6, 2 12s are 24 and 2 6s are 12. Continue with 2, bring down the 3, 2 6s are 12, 2 3s are 6. Continue again with 2, bring down the 3, 2 3s are 6, bring down the 3. Now we continue with 3. So this will be 3 1s and 1. Now let's find the LCM. The LCM will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 3. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 3s are 24. The LCM is 24. Now let's use the LCM as a common denominator here and get the new numerators. The first rational number 6 4s are 24. So multiply minus 5 into 4. Minus 5 into 4 is minus 20. Now let's go to the next one. Now here it is 24 and the denominator the LCM is also 24. So into 1. So here minus 19 into 1 is minus 19. Then here we have 12 as a denominator. 12 twos are 24. So minus 37 into 2 is minus 74. So now we have these rational numbers. Minus 20 by 24, minus 19 by 24 and minus 74 by 24. Which of these will form the largest rational number? That is what we need to find out. Now let's take a number line. Now suppose you have a number line like this and you know as we move to the right we have the positive numbers, as we move to the left we have the negative numbers, we have zero in between. Isn't it? Now if I have to write these negative numbers on my number line, I will start with minus 19 here somewhere, isn't it? So I might have minus 19 here and then where is minus 20? It will come this side. And minus 74 will come somewhere this side, minus 74. So as you can see, the minus numbers, the negative numbers keep moving to the left and they get smaller and smaller and smaller. So these numbers, as they move to the left, they get smaller. That means among these three, which is the largest rational number? The largest rational number is 19, isn't it? So this is the one. The numerator here is 19. That means minus 19 by 24 is the largest rational number among these three. Minus 19 by 24 is the same here. Okay, so among the options, option 2 is the answer 
and that is minus 19 by 24. Three. Minus 88 by minus 136 in standard form is one of these. Now, when do we say a rational number is in standard form? We can say a rational number is in standard form if the denominator is positive. That's the first step. It should be positive. Secondly, this should be in the lowest term. That means your common factor should be only one. So let's take that here. So here we have minus 88 by minus 136. Now here we can cancel the zeros. So now we can see that the denominator has become positive. That's the first thing. Now the common factors, now both are divisible by 2. The common factor should be only 1. They are divisible by 4, also by 8. So let's divide both by 8 and see what we get. So here I'm dividing 88 by 8 and 136 by 8. Now this we know 8 into 11 will give us 88. Now 8 into what will give us 136? Let's divide and see. So 8 ones are 8 and minus we have 5. Bring down 6, 56, 8 sevens are 56. So 8 into 17 is 136. So now we have 11 by 17. So when we put this in standard form, the answer that we get is 11 by 17. So which of these is the answer? Option 3. Option 3, 11 by 17 is our answer. Question Here we have two rational numbers, minus 3 by 5 and minus 1 by 3. Now they are two rational numbers. Then minus 3 by 5 is greater than minus 1 by 3 or minus 1 by 3 is greater than minus 3 by 5 or none of these. So we have to check which of these is correct. That means we have to compare these two rational numbers. So let's compare and see. So that is minus 3 by 5 and we are comparing it with minus 1 and 1 by 3. Now we have to find the LCM. So LCM here is 15. The LCM is 15. So this is 5 into 3. So this is minus 3 into 3 is minus 9. And here we have 3 into 5. So minus 1 into 5 is minus 5. So we have two rational numbers here. So that will be minus 9 by 15 and minus 5 by 15. So look at, think of the uh, number line, think of the number line, which of these numbers minus 5 or minus 9 will come first, which is bigger in minus 5 and minus 9. Minus 5 is greater, isn't it? So as you keep moving to the left, you know minus 9 will come to the left of minus 5. In your number line, as you keep moving to the left, the numbers become smaller and smaller. So minus 5 by 15 is greater. So this rational number is greater. That means when we go back to the question here, this is the one that has become this, isn't it? So this is greater. So minus 1 by 3 is greater than minus 3 by 5. Let's look at the options here. That is option 2, minus 1 by 3 is greater than minus 3 by 5, option 2. Question Here we have a number line question and we have points A and B marked on the number line. Now let's see what the question is. According to the number line given above, the values of A and B are, we have to find the values of A and B and see which of these is the correct answer. So here A is on the negative side. This is the first thing we have to see. Now look at 0. From 0 to minus 1, how many paths are there? 1. 2, 3, 4 parts. And from minus 1 to 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 parts. That means each part, now this is minus 1 by 4, this will be minus 2 by 4, this will be minus 3 by 4, and minus 1 is 4 by 4. This will be minus 5 by 4, minus 6 by 4, and this is minus 7 by 4. So this is minus 7 by 4. That means we have found the value of A to be minus 7 by 4. So now let's go to B. Now from 0 onwards to the right, they're all positive numbers. So B is a positive number. Now let's see between 0 and 1 how many parts there are. 1, 2, 3 parts. 
That means this first part will be 1 by 3. This will be 2 by 3. And this will be 3 by 3. And so on. So this will be 4 by 3. 5 by 3. 6 by 3. 7 by 3. So B is 7 by 3. So this is the answer. So now we have the values for A and B. A is minus 7 by 4 and B is 7 by 3. Which of these options? No, first option is wrong. The second option is wrong. The third option is correct. A is minus 7 by 4 and B is 7 by 3. So this is our answer option 3. Question 6. The rational number between minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 is. So let's just see a number line. Now suppose you have a number line. The denominator will tell you how many parts there are. So on the negative side there are 3 parts between 0 and minus 1. On the positive side there are 3 parts between 0 and 1. So here this will be uh, minus 1 by 3, minus 2 by 3, minus 3 by 3. So let's write minus 1 by 3 here. So this is minus 1 by 3. Because there are three parts, 1, 2, 3. On the positive side also, there are three parts, 1, 2, 3, after 0. So the first part will be 1 by 3. So 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 3 by 3 and so on. So the question is, between minus 1 by 3, which is here, so this is minus 1 by 3 and this is 1 by 3, what is the rational number in between? So as you can see, the rational number in between is 0. So, which is our answer? Option 3, that is 0 is our answer. A boy walks 2 by 3 kilometers from a place P towards the north. So, let us draw that just for us to understand. From one place P, he is going to move towards the north. So, like this. So, here we have a place P. We will mark this point as P. From here, he is going to the north. And how much is that? By 2 by 3 2 by 3 kilometers. Then let's continue with the question. And then from there, 5 by 6 kilometer towards south. South means it's the opposite direction, isn't it? So from here, now first from P, he's come towards the north. And from the north, he's moving towards the south. So he's moving towards the south. The arrow mark is showing this side. So he's moving towards the south. So he has moved how many kilometers? 5 by 6 kilometers to the south. Now the question is, the position of the boy from the place P. Now, the final position of the boy. Now, here he started from here. He's ended here. What is the difference? Now, what is the position? So, has he, if he had moved further towards the north, we could have added this and this. But since he went there and he's coming back here, we have to subtract. Now, to subtract, we have to find out which is the greater one. So, let's first compare that and see. So, we have 2 by 3 kilometers and we have 5 by 6 kilometers. Let's compare these two. To compare this, we must find the LCM first. The LCM is 6. Now here, 3 into 2 is 6. So multiply 2 also into 2. 2 twos are 4. Now the other side, we have 6 already. 6 ones are 6. So multiply 5 also by 1. 5 ones are 5. So now what do we have? 4 and 5. That means 5 is greater. That means he, he has moved little more to the south. Okay, so he started from here, 2 by 3 kilometers went up to the north. From the north, he has come and he has gone beyond this point to the south. So that means he has gone more towards the south. So we have to subtract to find the position. So to subtract, you have to put this number first. So 5 by 6 minus 4 by 6. We have already found the LCM. So we just have to do 5 by 6 minus 4 by 6. Since the denominators are the same, we can minus the numerators. 5 minus 4 is 1. So 1 by 6 kilometers he has moved. And since he has moved in this direction, he has moved 1 by 6 kilometers to the south. So let's look if, and see if that answer is there. So here we have 1 by 6 kilometers towards north, 1 by 6 kilometers towards south. So this is the answer, answer 2. So he has walked a little more to the south. So from point P, and you see he has moved 1.6 kilometers towards the south. Question 8. 
the rational number that should be added to minus 3 by 7 to get minus 5 by 7 is which one? Now, I'm going to replace this minus 3 by 7 by a simple number 5. What should I add to 5 if I have to get this, if I have to get 7? Now, what should I add to 5 to get 7? I know I should add 2. Now, how did I get this 2? How can I get this 2 if I say 7 minus 5? Isn't it similarly? This minus this will give us the answer. That means I have to write minus 5 by 7 first. And then I have to subtract the other number from it, which is minus 3 by 7. Since the denominators are the same, I can put the same denominator as the LCM. And I can write the same numerator since both have 7 as a denominator. So minus 5 minus minus 3. So now I'm going to remove the brackets. Minus 5. Now if I see a minus sign before the bracket, I must change the sign of this one. So minus 3 is now going to become plus 3. Plus 3 by 7. Now here as you can see, signs are different. Minus 5 plus 3. When signs are different, we put the sign of the bigger number and we subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. So here we have minus 2 by 7. So our answer here is minus 2 by 7. Which option is that? So here we have minus 2 by 7 which is option 3 and this is our answer. So children, I hope you have understood till here. We will stop with this for now. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.